So when there's a chance to be extra, may we always choose extra. <laughs> Cause your friend is definitely doing the most right now. I have on my mom's make the best teacher's tea, but I have my overalls on. I've got my little apron here that I'm gonna put on. And your girl has a hat, okay? We are going to go out in the garden and harvest today. Hey, pretty girl. <laughs> I have two wiggly teeth. You have two wiggly teeth. She's getting so big. My birthday's coming in 12 days. It is. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna go out and harvest in our garden. You guys, we found a bunny. A bunny. A bunny eating all, all plants. <laughs> Somebody please tell me what I'm supposed to do with this bunny. I wanna be out and about, but that's okay. So, we're just gonna be extra in the walls of our own home because why not? So, I've got my apron, I've got my, um, my garden hat. I'm gonna grab a bowl and some scissors and we are gonna harvest as much as we possibly can because our garden is really flourishing right now and Brian is ready to make a salad and some kale chips. So uh, Kendall should be super excited. We are going to use the kale um, to make kale chips and use that as his first recipe inside of his cookbook. I also tried storyboarding a bit for this video. I'm trying to just Discipline myself to get in some practice because if I don't do that, I will never do that So Brian and I have been trying to storyboard and see how that goes um, see if it Helps us to bring a bit more of our vision to life. So yeah, I'm a whole gardener today And please don't judge me for how I harvest these vegetables because it's my first time <laughs> I am so ridiculously extra <laughs> I think they love me for it though. I'm feeling really homesteady right now. Hey Kendall, you like my outfit? What, the other one's back here. Oh. <laughs> you gonna get it for me? Thanks bud. All right, we have our bowl so we can harvest. Yeah. And you see, can you see? A piece of kale. Okay. See your harvest girl <laughs> so we're working on our harvesting it we're getting somewhere but we still have a decent amount to go so they're over here at our vertical garden oh this is a green bean but this is watermelon they're Ooh. checking on it our green bean looks good actually our watermelon our cantaloupe Mommy. look who stopped by Papa. <laughs> look at the brain ranches it's yeah. a baby. Baby playing mantis. So you need them. So we're just trying to keep it steady, I guess. Oh, it zoomed in. <laughs> it's been a blast today. I guess um, this is what they were doing. 
our compost. It's really disgusting. You should have smelled it when we first put it on. It was disgusting. My big brother came in. He actually liked it a little. Brian was trying to harvest, and I think he may have killed the last point. <laughs> Somebody tell me that that's going to come back. You hear him? You can hear him moving. See him. Where? He's in the tomatoes. <laughs> oh, there he is. There he is. He's right here. He's eating. 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 No. Oh, M. Gee, he's so cute. The onion bowl. Look, they're fuzzy. Yep. That's all their poop right down there. Yes, there you go. I don't know if we were supposed to do this or not, but it had to go. Look at it. Everything we harvested. Now I'm going to cut back a little bit of our herbs. So and our rosemary. You gotta be the slime trail. Oh. I see his slime trail. Oh my goodness. Touch it. Touch it. Anybody else out here with kids that have so much energy that they can't keep up? <laughs> I am all of exhausted right now. Thankfully, they're going to say goodbye to their pop-up so I can sit down and breathe for a second because this was a whole situation, okay? But we got a lot harvested, so that's like really exciting. Uh, we were talking about possibly getting a raised bed so I could put a few more things inside, especially since these yielded crops so easily and so quickly. I hope I didn't kill my one lettuce plant. There is a bunny still hiding out in our garden and I don't know what to do about that so I'm going to google it <laughs> I need a nap and a snack okay maybe Kendall will make us some kale chips out of our harvest that definitely sounds like a plan so far so good our storyboard is panning out pretty well the direction of our homeschool and life feels so good these days so peaceful so exciting um, and that's really what I want to cultivate around here. I feel like the excitement for us will always start at home. So this little transition of ours is turning out to be really nice. A lot less school and more home. You know that feeling when you have a dream for something or an idea for something or a vision for something? You're not quite sure if it's gonna pan out well, but you take the risk anyway and it pans out more than well. That's how I'm feeling right now. So yeah, just home no more school you guys so i wanted to purchase some binoculars and my neighbor has all the things all the time and i knew he just might have some fun fact if we ever leave this house i'll be sure to take my neighbors with me <laughs> they're amazing my neighbor let me borrow some binoculars so we could bird watch Okay, and I got this monocular, which is really cool too. And there's lots of birds that come and perch up on our fence, especially since we got the new fence. And we're going to be hanging our birdhouse really soon. So I'm sure that once I get some feed in the birdhouse and put it up on the tree, they'll really be coming. I hope they don't come too much though. Just in case nobody noticed, I really like learning new things. Don't judge me for my crazy excitement for bird watching and 
all the other new things that we're trying lately. I feel like we don't get to do that enough. There's such a like pull or a push to be an expert at a thing that we bypass the excitement of learning something new. Mm -hmm. What's she <laughs> Do you see the birds? Do you see Hold anything? On. Say it's Savannah, the bird watcher. See daddy. <laughs> what are we doing? Bird watching. Don't close any eyes. Okay. You mean to tell me I was holding it the wrong way? <laughs> yeah, this is the wrong way. Okay, I'm sorry. That's Let's see. Completely holding it the wrong way. You're sitting on I'm such a newbie. Oh, um, heel. Well, Look at this. Come here, mommy. Okay. Nail is there. Go ahead, try to look through it. I'm in now, the kids are having a snack and I'm getting ready to have a little bit of mommy time. A half an hour of um, watching one of my master classes and completing one of the lessons. I'm still taking a writing class by Neil Gaiman. Y'all, I did the storyboard for today and yeah, a fail. Well, not really a fail because it was good for me to practice doing it. But did I get everything filmed that I wanted to? No, because our little adventure out in the garden turned out to be more exciting than trying to move on to the next um, activity for the day. So I just went with the flow. And then I'm going to have the kids write in their journals tonight before bed um, just to kind of recap all that they did today and um, I'll be able to look back at them and read like about their experience from their own point of view um, and then I'll just pull out some of the questions that they had encourage them to add them to our big book of questions see if they wanted to research anything um, on the slug that we found or the praying mantis that we found just stuff like that helping to kind of push them in the right direction based on um, how they observe the world around them so if you've been here for a little while then you know that the kids have never been in any kind of school um, so I guess we're kind of going through a bit of a de-schooling process except for the fact that we've never actually been to school but um, just continuing to pull them out of that habit of lumping certain things into subjects and just really truly seeing that living and learning is an exciting adventure. I'm gonna get in my study time and a little bit of writing time and I'm gonna have a little bit of coffee so I can have a few moments to myself and then we're gonna move into making dinner and all of that other stuff. Just remember life is so very full of lessons so our goal here is to live and to learn. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.